Kenyan troops in Kibumba in North Kivu province. They are holding fort in areas from where the armed group M23 has withdrawn. Regional East African forces from Kenya, Uganda, South Sudan and Burundi are here to enforce an agreement aimed at bringing peace to the region. Hundreds of people have been killed and up to one million forced out of their homes since the conflict started over a year ago. Some Congolese living in Kibumba say they are afraid to go back home, despite M23 fighters pulling out. The group has ceded strategic towns and roads, but fighting is still going on in some parts. Rwanda has been accused by the UN, the EU and others of supporting the rebels. Kigali denies this. According to an agreement signed by regional leaders, M23 is to move to Sabino in Virunga Mountains near the Rwanda border. But the rebels have not gone there yet. The destination that they are going, it is in line with what, what is agreed, agreed upon. But whether they are getting there until I get to that position to go and validate, then I can be able to tell you authoritatively that for sure they have reported there. The regional forces were deployed a few months ago. They say they are here to facilitate a political process between Kinshasa and M23. But some analysts say the negotiations are moving too slowly. And while everyone talks about a political track and a military track, um, there is no um, clear understanding on what, what should come first uh, and how that should uh, evolve. M23 leaders say they want direct talks with the government. Kinshasa insists it cannot negotiate until all areas controlled by the rebel fighters are vacated. The deadlock is unbroken and Congolese who've been forced out are now living rough in camps for the displaced and suffering. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera.